Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out here in the garage playing around tonight. Doing a little bit of goofing around. Weather outside's pretty nasty, so we'll keep it inside and do a little playing around inside today. But uh, I was at the uh, local farm store today and I found a pretty cool uh, product. I think I'd, we'll do some uh, review on it later, but uh, I just wanted to do a little bit of un, a little unboxing video and maybe do a little bit of plinking across the garage with it with you guys tonight. But uh, this thing is obviously a, a very close knockoff of a Daisy Red Rider, especially the older uh, version. And uh, what we have here is a, uh, this is distributed by Air Venturi, and uh, it is a, it's marketed as a John Wayne Little Duke, uh, and it is a, it's got the big loop uh, cocking lever, but uh, it is <laughs> absolutely a knockoff of the Daisy Red Rider. But uh, let's go ahead, I'll, uh, let's see, I'll bring you guys down a little bit here. And, see what I'm doing here so uh, pretty cool it's got uh, open window there where you can see the uh, the John Wayne face that's uh, stamped into the uh, the butt stock but uh, let's go ahead and open it up it says that it comes with a scope mount but, and uh, I haven't had this thing out of the box yet so but uh, let's see this is yeah there's the, the little scope mount I'll figure out how to put that on later uh, comes with an instruction manual. So, set that off to the side and get this out of the box. Nicely packed. It's actually packed better than the Red Riders come these days. The Red Riders, I'm surprised they're not more damaged uh, in shipping and all that than they are. <coughs> than the... I've had three or four of them in the garage here. There's absolutely, all there is is a little piece of foam on the on the muzzle. There's nothing on the back side. So anyway, there you go. There is the little flyby with it. Um, it has the, the bottle cap type arrangement like the older daisies. Um, the newer ones don't have that bottle cap uh, insert there. And, uh, but it has a, uh, little duke on the foregrip and then the john wayne logo on the back here or uh and it's the same thing on this side on the uh receiver itself it has a uh facsimile of john wayne's signature that's what they say it is anyway but uh let's go ahead and see if we can hit a tin can with it or a soda can with it uh let me get some bb's out here got some uh, Hornaday Black Diamonds. They really seem to be a good pellet. Not that there's anything wrong with the daisies or the crossbins that I have out here either, but I just think these, uh, so yeah, very much, I think this is probably the only difference between this and an older uh, daisy is the uh, loading ports on the bottom of the barrel rather than on the top of the barrel like the older daisies were. So you just rotate the barrel until that little cap disappears, and then you put your BBs down inside. All right, that should be enough. Then you rotate the uh, cap back until the uh, the bottle cap back until that covers back over the loading port and bring you out here to uh, the shooting range <laughs> so I have a uh, camera running I have a fresh can down there it does have a safety cross bolt safety it's not automatic though um, well, let's see if we can hit a can. Oh yeah, I can't. I think I just hit the right side of it. I 
That's better. That was a good hit. So they claim that this uh, will do up to 350 feet per second, which is the same as the Daisy Red Rider. Which I have found to be not nearly the case. Uh, I've had three of the newer production Daisy Red Riders and a, a little buck in the garage here, and none of them has done more than 250 feet per second uh, stock out of the box. So, and the one review I did see on this where the guy was comparing this to a Red Rider, which I'll do in another video down the road, um, he was shooting this against the Red Rider and the Red Rider was shooting every BB into the shooting sea and he only hit one one pellet out of this into the shooting sea so I was kind of a little bit apprehensive after I saw that video but uh, so far uh, really seems to be and he was shooting oh, sounded like it hit metal but it didn't make the can move Looks like it's doing a number on the can though. A lot of fun. We'll do a more thorough review. I'll get the chronograph out. It actually has a really nice trigger. Uh, I'm really kind of surprised, pleasantly surprised how nice this trigger is. Probably only just a couple of pounds. That's really that's really nice. The uh, the daisies are world renowned for having woeful triggers. So except for the Model 99, which I have a couple of out here, that has a kind of they call it a match grade trigger. I wouldn't quite go that far, but it is a nice trigger on that 99. Now I hit that again. Definitely hit metal, but. Uh, Maybe I'm going through the same hole again. I don't know. <clears throat> it's definitely going through the can. So that's some pretty good power. Is that my last one? I think I got one more. Let's shoot it. <laughs> one or two more maybe. Make sure that was the last one. Oh, that was the last one. So, let's see, I have a new production Red Rider right here. And just compare the two side by side. So the new production Red Rider is, looks like the length of pull on them are almost identical, if not exactly identical yeah, maybe the length of pull on the red rider is about just under an inch longer than the the little duke and then the tip of the barrel is about uh, an inch and a half longer but uh overall they're very very close so the one thing i do notice right away is the little duke appears to be riveted together and uh, so if this thing ever needed maintenance unlike the red rider you can't take it apart without destroying those rivets so that is one one little negative but we'll save that for the uh, save that for the future reviews but for today this is just a little little teaser a little unboxing video but I saw it and I thought it was going to be kind of fun. So <laughs> it's just a, it, they are a little bit more um, at the store there. It was a, they are a little bit more than you'll pay for the the daisies at Walmart or the daisies at Walmart are I think around forty dollars, um, <clears throat> and uh, this was a little over fifty. So and even on this is available on uh, Amazon, Walmart's website. Um, this one has. Oh, no, it is a metal loop. Okay. I thought when I was just looking at it earlier, I kind of cracked the box open and it looked like it was plastic, but this is the metal loop. So they used to make this with a plastic loop and that was discontinued. 
and the, now the newer production ones have a metal loop on them. Uh, it must have had some problems with breakage. But anyway, there you go. There's the first look at the Air Venturi uh, Little Duke, John Wayne Little Duke. And uh, we'll, you'll be seeing a lot more of this guy, I'm sure. It's a lot of fun. And I like, I like these big loops. They're kind of fun. But uh, some people complained about them. I like it because uh, my hand can fit in there. The, the, the Red Riders, I actually find myself wrapping around the outside of the smaller loop because it just doesn't have enough room for my hand. But this has got a lot of room for the hand there. So anyway, till next time, have a great day.